Okay, welcome back to another episode in my Learning Arduino series. So far, we've worked with LEDs and potentiometers. This week, we're going to be working with buttons. As always, let's run through what you'll need for this project. You're going to need a breadboard, an Arduino Uno, a 3mm LED, two resistors, one 220 ohm, one 10 kilo ohm, one push button, five jumper wires, and a button cap if you have it. Okay, as always, I like to connect ground first, so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to connect the ground of my Arduino to the ground of my breadboard. Then we're going to connect the 220 ohm resistor. This is the resistor we're going to use for the LED. So you just see me here putting that on my breadboard connected to ground. Then I'm going to connect my LED. And if you want to see how to do that, you check out the LED video I have. And then I'm going to connect the LED to pin 11 on my Arduino. So up until now, this is really similar to the LED project. Um, so if you haven't seen that, I definitely recommend checking that out as well. Now time for the button. So this is our new element that we're connecting here. I'm going to connect it down the middle spine of the breadboard just because that's how the pins are oriented and allows it to fit better. Then it's time for the 10K ohm resistor. So this I'm going to connect to the bottom pin on the side closest to the Arduino. And then I'm just going to find an empty row to connect the other side of the resistor. Time to connect this element to ground. And as you, it's always easy to tell when I'm connecting something to ground because I'll always use black wires. I think it just makes it easier to follow what's going on in the schematic. So I'm just going to connect the other side of that resistor to ground. Now I'm going to connect the button to the Arduino using pin 7 on the Arduino to the other side of the top part of the resistor that's connected to the push button. Similar to how I always use black, for connecting ground, I use red when I'm connecting power. So we're going to connect the 5 volt power on the Arduino to the top corner. Okay, so that's everything wired up. Be sure to check the connections. You can freeze here if you need to. Okay, so it's time to just plug this into the computer, open up Arduino, IDE, and let's get coding. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to add, do is add a section for variables. This is where I can essentially store all of the starter code I'm going to need to be able to continue on. Okay, so the first variable we're going to input here is for the LED. And this is essentially signing the, assigning the LED to pin 11. Okay, one thing I like to do and I recommend you do as well is to always put comments in your code, especially if you're just learning. It's easy to lose track of what you're doing. Right now, the scripts are very small, but as they grow, you're definitely going to want to keep track of why you did a certain thing. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. So now we're going to assign the button to pin 7. And if you'll remember in the connections, I made you connect the LED and the button to pin 7. If you connected your LED and your button to different pins, then you're going to have to use different numbers here. And then we're just going to make an empty value variable. And it will, it will hold a value in the future, but right now it'll just be an empty definition and so we'll assign that to int value okay so we're just going to move on to the setup section of the code and so this is what you would need to do to allow your script to have function um, and so here you'll see you're going to put your code here i'm going to delete that it's a comment you don't have to you can leave the comment there it's not going to change anything about your code but just to make it easier for you guys to understand what i'm typing i removed the comment okay so after assigning the variables, we're going to add the pin mode for the LED and we're going to set it as an output. And essentially that means that the Arduino is going to output information to that pin. And so in this case, it's the LED. So it's not going to be reading any data. It's going to be sending data to the pin. Think of it like that. Okay, and then the second pin mode we need to set up, if you're following along here, is for the button. And if the LED is our output, then it only makes sense that the button is an input. And so essentially that means the Arduino will be reading or essentially looking for data coming from that input device. And here it's the button. So it's basically going to be telling if the button is or is not being pressed. And now for the loop. Now this is essentially how what the code that will execute for the Arduino. And so Arduino just kind of executes in a loop. So this is the loop that we're going to be generating. And this is what will be running when you plug your Arduino in. So we're going to set the value. Remember how we made that empty value variable? We're going to send 
So, so we're going to set that value as what is being read from the button. And essentially that means the Arduino is going to be looking to read if or if not the button is pressed. And it reads that in a very simple high versus low data. You'll see here that I left a comment kind of explaining that in layman terms. And now we're going to be setting up an if loop. If loops are at the core of most programs, and essentially what they are is structures that follow a if this then that method. And so if our value is low, so if the button being read is being read as low, then do this action. And the action we're going to have the Arduino do is we're going to write, so we're going to send information to the LED to be low. So if the button is not being pressed, then the LED light should be off. And that is how you would read that as a human. So we're going to take our if statement one step further, and we're going to make it an if else statement. And what this means is if do if this, then do that. So if the button is not being pressed, turn the LED off. Else, also known as otherwise, set the LED pin. So send information to the LED pin to be high. And in this case, high means on. So you would read this very simply as if the button is not being pressed, then set the LED pin to off. Else, set the LED pin to on. And that's all the code you need. So upload that to your Arduino and let's give it a shot. So as you'll see, if I press the button, the light turns on. When I lift my finger off the button, the light turns off. And here we go again, pressing the button, light on, taking my finger off, button light goes off. And that's it. That's how simple it is to implement a button into one of your projects. So I recommend you go out there and see what other creative ways you can use a button. And remember how I said that cap was optional? It's just to make it look nice. So you can just put your cap on your button and there you go. It makes it slightly easier to press the button as well. If you haven't already, I would recommend you check out my LED and potentiometer video. The more components you understand, the better your projects can get. And of course, if you're looking forward to future videos, make sure to subscribe.